Hey guys, it's Lauren from Taste Better From Scratch, and today I'm gonna to show you a really simple tutorial for making homemade pupusas. If you're familiar with pupusas, it's a dish from El Salvador made with uh, corn flour and uh, filling. It's really similar almost to gorditas from Mexico or arepas from Venezuela. Um, there's lots of fun things you can do with corn flour, kind of like a homemade corn tortilla and filling inside of it. They're super delicious and really easy to make. So what you're gonna need is masa harina, which is corn flour. And this is a really popular brand you could get in most grocery stores, it's called Maseca. You can buy yellow corn flour or white corn flour. Um, my store just had yellow, so that's what I use, but I really love white corn flour too. So Maseca, and then just warm water and salt. That's what most uh, pupusa recipes use. I also add a little bit of butter and chicken bouillon just to give flavor to the dough, which I think really helps. And today we're gonna to be stuffing our pupusas with uh, refried beans and cheese. It's traditional to use like a Oaxaca cheese or a salted mozzarella. We're just gonna use shredded mozzarella cheese. And you can really stuff them with whatever you like. If you'd rather stuff them with like shredded pork or beef, go for it. But my kids, my family, we love just bean and cheese pupusas. They're delicious. We serve them with a crudito, crudito, I think that's how you say it. It's like a cabbage relish and a homemade salsa roja, just a red salsa that's also really easy to make. I'm going to be swiping, or I'm gonna leave a link to all of the recipes um, in the description at the bottom of the post, so you can find the link to the pupusas recipe, the full recipe, the link to the salsa and the cabbage slaw if you're interested. That's all below the recipe. All right, let's get started. Okay, so in my bowl, I have four cups of yellow corn flour, the masa that we were talking about earlier and we're gonna slowly add warm water to it. Now it's traditional in El Salvador to just use your hands to mix the dough. So you can use a spoon if you want to. I just wash my hands really good and I, that's just the best way to tell that if you, you're getting the right consistency is just using your hands to mix the dough. So we're gonna add about probably three and a half cups or so of water, but as I said, it just we're looking for the consistency more than anything. And the thing I like about this recipe is it's really, forgiving. You really can't mess it up. Um, if it seems too dry, you can add a little bit more water. If it seems like you got it too wet, you can add a little bit more of the corn flour. So what we're looking for is um, a really soft kind of Play-Doh consistency. And you'll notice that the, the corn flour really soaks up the warm water. So that's kind of why we want to add it slowly because it will soak up the water as you're mixing. You also can't, don't, you don't need to worry about over mixing the dough like you do with some doughs. You can kind of mix it as much as you want until you feel like it's the right consistency. So I'm also gonna add some salt, which I probably should have just done at the beginning, but it doesn't really matter. Like I said, this is a really forgiving recipe. So traditional, um, Pupusas, you, all you really need is the corn flour, warm water, and salt. But I do add a tiny bit of butter. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of butter and chicken broth, just a teaspoon of chicken broth to the dough. Okay, so our dough is ready. You can see it's just the consistency of a soft Play-Doh. I'm gonna grab like a golf ball size ball and just pat it between my hands to form a circle about like four inches in diameter, a little bigger than your palm. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just kind of trying to get it all the same thickness. And then I'm gonna add some refried beans and cheese to the middle. You can use canned refried beans or I've got a recipe for semi-homemade refried beans using a can of pinto beans or you can just um, make the beans actually from scratch, which I also have a recipe for that. We're gonna add a sprinkle of mozzarella cheese and then we're gonna just carefully kind of Close up our dough around the filling into a little ball. Make sure all the cracks are sealed. And then we're just going to gently pat it between our palms again into a circle. And it's okay if some of the filling starts to poke out a little bit, but just be kind of gentle with it. And that's it, you are ready to stick it on a hot griddle for a couple minutes on each side until it's golden brown. Let's see. So you want it to just look a little bit golden brown. This one's ready to flip. The edges will just be set 
and the bottom will be golden brown. Just about two to four minutes per side. So serve your pupusas hot right off the skillet. We've got a side of cortito, the cabbage slaw, and the salsa roja, and you can put them on top. And you, just, you can eat them with your hands or with a fork. And oh my goodness, how delicious is that? Hope you guys enjoy them.